In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to integrate improper integrals. Let's start with question one. Here they want us to evaluate the improper integral for the function one over the square root of x dx between zero and four. The reason why this function is improper is because notice the denominator, the square root of x. We know that the denominator for a fraction can equal to zero. So this part in particular cannot equal to zero. However, our bounds are between zero and four. So that's problematic for us. So let's start by taking the integral of this function, but not evaluating it at zero and four yet. So the integral of one over the square root of x, first I'll change the square root of x into x to the power of one over two. Then I'll switch this into x to the power of negative one over two, which means the exact same thing as one over the square root of x. So I have to integrate between zero and four, x to the power of negative one over two dx. The next thing that I'll do is take the integral of this function. I can do that by adding one to the exponent and then taking the sum of this and dividing the function by that. So I have x to the power of negative one over two plus one, which is one over two. And I'll take one over two and divide the function by that, giving me two times the square root of x. Two times the square root of x is the integral of the function we started with. And now I have to evaluate this expression between zero and four. At four is easy, but zero is problematic. So what I'll do is set zero equal to an arbitrary letter, let's call it a, and take the limit as a approaches zero from the positive end. So to the right of zero on a number line for the function two times the square root of x. And if I substitute zero at this point, I should end up with two times zero, which is zero. At the same time, I'll evaluate this at four and subtract whatever I get from zero. So two times the square root of four, which is four. I'll take four minus zero. And the answer to question number one is four. Let's move on to question two. Evaluate the improper integral that converges for the function dx over bracket x minus one to the power of two over three, between one and two. Now, if I evaluate this bottom part, the denominator, when x is equal to one, I'll end up with zero in the denominator, which will give me an error. What I have to do is set this one equal to a, and I did this step later on in question number one, but you can do it at the beginning or later on, doesn't matter. So I have the integral between a and two for my function one over x minus one to the power of two over three dx. Next, we take the integral of this function. And here's how to do that. What I'll do is set u equal to x minus one and take the derivative implicitly from the left and the right side with respect to x giving me du is equal to, and this becomes one, this becomes zero, so I have one times dx. I'll replace this with u and replace that with du, where I have the integral between a and two, one minus u to the power of two over three du. Taking the integral of one over u to the power of two over three isn't hard. What I'll do is change this expression into u to the power of negative two over three, add one to the exponent, find the sum of this and divide this expression by that sum. Negative two over three plus one is equal to positive one over three. And this ends up becoming three u to the power of one over three. I'll change this u back to x minus one now that I found the integral. u becomes x minus one multiplied by three to the power of a third. This represents the integral of our original function. As before, what I'll do is evaluate this at the upper bound and the lower bound, a. The upper bound shouldn't give us any problems. If I substitute two into x, I'll end up with two minus one, and two minus one to the power of a third is equal to one, so this becomes three. Now at a, instead of substituting what a is equal to into our function, Instead, I'll take the limit as a approaches, our lower bound was one, 
from the positive end. So let's go ahead and find the limit of this function. We have 3, and I'll substitute 1 into x and see what happens. If I have 1 minus 1, I end up with 0. 0 to the power of a third is also 0, times 3 is 0. So I have 3 minus 0 is equal to 3. Therefore, the integral of this function between 1 and 2 is equal to 3. And there you have it. That is how to integrate improper integrals.